the way I see innovation is what different ideas can we bring together to have a directly targeted solution to a challenge that is facing many people. We'll split ourselves in groups to find spaces where we can really discuss in our different streams of work what is it that we find to be a challenge that we need to try and solve today. Entrenched cultural beliefs, a need for livelihood or income generating activities, lack of understanding of the context of the different uh, voice target groups. The next stage is for us to try and uh, say what we discussed. Everyone has something to bring to the linking and learning uh, events and, and, and activities. Whether you're a big organization or a small organization, you bring history, experience that is valuable. So we really gave a lot of attention to this principle we want to call net giving. We're not here just to network, we're here to give to each other and everybody has something that they, they can share with their peers. Once we do that and we agree these are actually the main challenges, then present all those ideas from uh, the groups and begin to vote on which are the most strategic ideas that if we take forward, they're actually good solution. My son is a butterfly. He is gentle love purring like the stroking of a cat. Our love, me and his, melts, suffuses the air, breaking into iridescent colors, azure, cerulean, sapphire, and sage. My son is a butterfly. Thank you. For me, the process that we've gone through this morning, it was my first time to witness uh, an, an conference. It, it's amazing how we talked about empowerment, how we knew about the processes, and it's amazing and empowering in itself how we saw these people sharing their what once were fears or uncertainties that they've turned into something really beautiful and amazing. Okay, for me what I have um, learned and uh, what I want also to take away is the word empathy. I want to emphasize it because it came through the discussions, I think from the yesterday to today, that need to you know, try to put ourselves in the shoes of the marginalized people. I think by sharing your stories, you know, this is really a great evidence, you know, of generosity. Because by doing this, you are helping others. Just to terminate, I would like to say that the process of autonomization passes directly to the person, the target group, but also the organization leader. I would like to take the example of Aminata. Grâce à ce projet, elle a aujourd'hui développé un leadership au niveau national. According to me, the keywords I have learned from morning, one is equality, two is leave no one behind, another one is voice, then no health without mental health. We need to vote. Just one of the sessions that we had today, out of the eight, will be presented tomorrow du during the public event. Oh my goodness! No, no. What is this? Please, please. Oh my God, she resembles nothing like me. No. What, what are we going to say? Each one of you is here because you took a stand to speak on an issue that is close to your heart. What made you decide to speak up? For me as a kid, I grew with him. I looked like every other child. I never saw value on who I was and the child that I was because nobody said anything good about me. I decided to go on a journey. You know when you get to a point where you're like, I cannot listen anymore to what people define me to be. I started believing in myself and it's literally self-awareness. I started becoming aware of who I was and what albinism meant. Finding my own voice made me become a voice for other people. So what does this mean for HIVOS? So we'll continue to champion for inclusion of all persons regardless of gender, ethnicity, religious belief, disability, sexual orientation, social class and age. And hope that the session will inspire you to create inclusive society 
where everyone feels valued and optimizes their full potential. Why are we here again? It's because we wanted to bring people who do, who do practice different things, who came to voice in many different ways. We wanted to bring people who, who have their own empowerment processes and share that with other people. Uh, when people connect, learning starts. When people listen, learning enhances. And when people do and act, learning deepens. And to me, linking and learning is really what the legacy of voice will be about.